on the right for us. Uh, yeah, it's all really good. So while, exactly the same as C-based while, um, and you've got your condition in brackets there, operations within brackets, and away you go. Until is a slight quirk of Perl, which is kind of the opposite of um, while. So it loops until the condition matches. So instead of looping while the condition matches, it loops until the condition matches. So it's kind of reverse while. Somewhat, somewhat philosophically here, Paul very much believes that you should be able to write it like you'd say it. Yes. Yeah. So That's unless unless is another one, which is the same as saying if not. I personally okay. quite like yeah, quite quite like unless. unless so just as like unless. Personal thing. So um, <laughs> within these things, you can do equals, not equals, less than, greater than, less than, or equal to, greater than or equal to. Now, with Perl, Perl does not know when you are calling a function whether the data it's looking at is a number or a string. So you have to tell it. So. So, well, if you tried to say anyway, anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so, Perl, Perl needs a little bit of help. You have to tell it whether it's a string or a, a number. So, basically, when you're doing comparisons, you have to do one or the other of these based on what kind of data you're expecting. You should know what kind of data you're expecting before you're actually at the point of comparing it. So, if, if value equals equal to zero, then value zero, then we've got if. Now, interestingly, else if, there's a missing e. So some languages use else with an e, Perl well, uses else if with, without. So that's fairly simple. If you've come from another language, that's something they'll probably catch you out. So otherwise, really it follows the normal rules for compound words in English. Yes. Of course, again, if you come from an, another language, this may get you. Catch you. And it, exactly the same as other languages you'll come across. If else if else. So you've got your final dropout through the bottom, which is um, your actual. Oh, would you finish? Oh, 10 minutes, yeah. Uh, no, uh, maybe five or oh, four. Oh, we're yeah. going to six. Okay. So, uh, unless is a neat shortcut. Same as writing if value not equals to zero, then the value is not zero. So I personally like it, Jess doesn't. So, unless value equals zero. So it's just, it's, it's again. It's fine until you've got unless value equals zero.